What is up guys, it is Nisho here, and you know, today I want to have a little talk with you guys because, you know, this is something I've been hearing um, a lot in the casual Yu-Gi-Oh! community, and uh, I really just want to put my thoughts on about it, especially here in the TCG. So, you know, obviously, you know, uh, what I'm talking about is Super Heavy Samurais. Now, I don't hate Super Heavy Samurais, I love them, alright? Uh, Super Heavy Samurais is uh, one of my favorite decks, and ever since Six Samurai, kind of got uh, the, the shaft um, <laughs> with Gateway being banned and the Rota getting limited. Um, I, I, I always just wanted another Samurai deck and then when I saw Arc V that we would have another Samurai based deck. Although it wasn't too good at the beginning, it kind of got better as it went along. And now it's like it's a deck that can stand on its own two feet. It's nowhere near competitive level good, but I, I, still, I, I still think for a casual deck it, it does just fine. And so I've been hearing that uh, a lot of people want to switch to Super Samurai's during Link format. And as a casual deck, I think, you know, it's like when people hear like casual, they think, oh, it's just casual, let them do whatever they want, play whatever bad deck they want. You know, that's, that's kind of like the competitive player's mindset. It's like, oh, they're just having fun or whatever. They don't, uh, they don't need to have the best deck in the game. And I'm, like, in my own opinion, like, I think about Link Format, and Super Heavy Samurai was, like, one of the last decks I would think about. Simply because it was, it was just, like, one of those decks where it was, like, I just played it because I liked the theme, and I never really played it because I thought the deck was good. And so, <laughs> uh, now that I do look at it, you know, it does have a little potential, simply because of, like, Mrs. Radiant, um, but they do have a lot of restrictions on summoning Super Heavy Samurai monsters only. If you summon Trumpeter... Um, Thief, uh, Waraji, um, it's like some of the best Super Heavy Samurai monsters require you, you to have like only Super Heavy Samurai monsters on the field and or you know limit you to summoning Super Heavy Samurai monsters only for the rest of the turn and so it kind of hinders the potential of the deck outside of the archetype because inside the archetype you can do a lot but it's like outside of the archetype uh, you, you wouldn't be able to put too much stuff in because it's it's like it, it would contradict the plays that you're going uh, that you're gonna do. The same thing with like spell and trap cards. You can probably you can probably try to find a build that works with spells and trap cards or super heavy samurais, but at the end you're gonna be sacrificing a lot, and you know it might not be worth it at all. And so with Link Monster, I feel like uh, super heavy samurais aren't really something that uh, can kind of work together simply because it's like they don't really have a link monster for themselves and so because of that it's like it, it suffers from uh, not being able to uh, summon out a lot of link monsters in one turn or even like utilize link monsters to their full potential and that just it just kills the point of using the deck in link format and that in itself should be a reason like to already look at a deck with like a, from an objective standpoint where it's like, is it really the best option? It's like, I feel like there are a lot more uh, decks that have a lot more summoning power and a lot more consistency, um, or better at being consistent um, than Super Heavy Samurais, simply because they they honestly don't do much. They, only, they really only make like one or two synchros and then buff that thing up and then just attack. You know what I'm saying? It can kind of feel a bit simpler because, uh, I mean, like, it is a bit simple, and they do have uh, a few strategies here and there, where you know, like with taking your opponent's spells and shot cards with like Thief and Susanoo, where Thief can just steal it straight off the bat. They can steal a Pendulum Scale. You can steal a back row if your opponent doesn't chain it. Um, and since Thief doesn't really target, like uh, you would choose the spell and shot card you destroy after the fact. So if they have any spell and shot cards left, it's subject to be taken. So it's better to, for them to just activate like something like a Song Strike on your Thief than, than to let it survive, you know what I'm saying? Or to let its effect go through. And for you, for them, like for you to, to steal the Song Strike. But you know, something like Tusana, well, you just take the Song Strike and great. Now, <laughs> again, it's, it, it's, it's going to be a casual deck. So it's not going to, I don't think it's going to be something that's going to top anytime soon. 
Again, as I said in my Let's Talk Super Heavy video, um, Daihachi is something that the deck needs uh, to be even remotely competitive because it doesn't have a lot of searches. The only real searcher that the deck has is Soul Piercer and uh, Soul Peacemaker. And both of those can be searched with uh, Daihachi, which it would be amazing if we had it, but it's like we don't have Daihachi here in the TCG. Even with the support we got for Battle of Legends Revenge, that support was just mediocre, honestly. It's like it doesn't do too much for the deck. Um, Steam Fist is like a love leader, but only for Synchros, and Helper is just the worst version of Soul Buster Gauntlet. So, I, I just don't feel like the deck has enough to be a strong contender in for format. I, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm going to stop playing the deck, I'm not saying you shouldn't play the deck, it's just, it's not going to be the best choice for me for that game. I think that players should really look into more options before they really consider uh, Super Heavy Samurai, especially him to TCG where we don't have Daihachi yet. I, I think that's the one thing that Super Heavy Samurai really need, and even then, it's still like, it's still a bit shaky. So, yeah. So, uh, in the end... I, I like the deck, I think it's an okay deck, I just don't think it's the best option for a new format. So, um, that's really all for now. This is Nistro here. Nistro out.